this hand because this hand is way more comfortable. What's up, crew? Welcome to another video. My name is John Connie, aka Big Man Syndrome, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> a lot has happened. A whole lot has happened. If you follow me on Instagram at all, which I doubt because this is a very small following right now, you've probably seen a couple things happen. This engine's been out, it's been now back in, and there's a bunch of other things that has been done, and I'll go over that in a future video, um, hopefully as soon as possible. Just depends on some things. But I wanted to do a quick video on this one because I feel like it deserves a video, and also because I'd like to write it off, so. But until then, I wanted to do a quick video on what I am currently working on, which is probably the most complex and stress-inducing and scary thing that I've ever done on a car or on a computer or anything, literally anything, because the amount of complexity involved with this is ridiculous. Now what I'm about to show you may be a little disturbing, it may make some of you vomit, and honestly, it may make some of you decide to unfollow or never subscribe, but uh, that is the ECU connector harness for the uh, S52. Originally I was gonna try to series through this and use the original connector, um, but after asking a quick question to somebody who was helping me with some stuff, I thought, you know what, I can cut the transmission computer off because it's a manual and I no longer have an automatic transmission, so I cut that harness off, started pulling wires through to clean it up, and then realized that all the injectors, the igniters, all the sensors, everything ran through the transmission computer first, and then transmitted to the ECU. So now we have a, a bit of a situation here. This is the stock harness for the S52. Um, and those are, that's the wiring bundle for the Mega Squirt Pro, Mega Squirt 3 Pro Ultimate, which it's exciting, but I went down a lot of different roads. First, I bought the Mega Squirt 3 PNP, but realized quickly that it was for the S50, not S52. They don't have an S52 version. Um, and being that there's limited options out in the world right now for S52, I decided to take the big leap to the Ultimate uh, because the Ultimate is pretty much, as you can see, very much custom wiring. So. Went from plug and play to knowing that I was gonna do some custom wiring. And then when I did what I just explained, the whole transmission computer problem, I was like, okay, well, this is gonna turn into a half and half where do a lot of custom wiring, maybe use a lot of the existing wiring. And then that was where I found Jimmy O in his videos and saw that he, <laughs> kind of a ridiculous thing, but cut the pins off of the ECU, the stock ECU and soldered directly to that so you can use the old harness. Started looking into that, I'm like, I don't know if I wanna do that. I don't wanna kill the old ECU, maybe I can sell it, I don't know. Um, which then led me to, I'm just gonna go full custom. I was thinking about even ordering new pins for these connectors, the stock connectors for all the different sensors and running wire all the way to the source because there is plenty of this wiring to do so little smudge on there. So now I'm on a 100% uh, wiring plan, which is kind of scary, but also kind of exciting. Um, the only thing that I'm stuck on right now is I can't find the pins or figure out which pins that I need in order to do that job and the tools. Uh, I've seen it done on, uh, forget the channel, but he has the S52 Rocket Bunny E30. He did that as well, and I'm just gonna do all of them except for anything that's shielded, which is ignition, knock sensors, Vanos control, and there's one more, cam cam sensor. All of those are shielded, but I have enough to go all the way to the uh, plug and play and have those go directly where they need to go. So that's exciting. So with all that said, I kind of wanted to just give a quick update on the on Project Vibranium. It's been quite the journey. I'm gonna do a full update video on everything that has been done. Um, I mean, if you can see in here, you can obviously see that a booster is gone, got some brake lines. Um, if you're on Instagram, you know what that is. Don't have a turbo yet. 
Um, and there's some interior stuff going on, but I wanted to do a separate video to sort of bring everyone up to speed because how I got to this point is a bit of a story arc. Uh, definitely not something that I want to do like this. I wanted to say this at the beginning of the video. Hopefully if if you're here at this point, thanks for watching. Um, just a you know quick YouTuber note, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing obviously is the biggest one. Join the crew, be a part of this build and hopefully a ton of future other builds. My friend and I started this channel just for our cars, but we're starting to have some big ideas of how we want this thing to move forward and be different than any other car channel. So if you wanna be a part of that journey starting now, now's a good time to join. Uh, this is part one of three parts that I'm gonna do. This one was just specifically to update and then show sort of where I'm at. Like I said, this whole entire harness is basically just taken apart. And right now I'm working on a couple of different diagrams. Uh, this was the original one where I was really planning to junction through the stock ECU harness. Um, no longer doing that. Now I'm just working on what should it look like based on the mega squirt wiring diagrams um, as well as the stock diagrams because I still, I think I want to still use the jumper point which isn't included in mega squirt. Um, and then, you know, just making sure that everything is plugged in the way it's supposed to be and then I'm gonna start doing it. So, you know what, I'll put this down. Part two is gonna be the actual execution of the plan. Uh, so I, I know enough now that I can probably start, but I still want to draw my own diagram that combines the Mega Squirt wiring diagrams and the S52, S50, because this is a 95, so most of those were S50s. Uh, the wirings are just a little bit different, but the base of it is normal. So there's just some things that the Beamer has that isn't included in the Mega Squirt, and I just want to make sure that there are things that I'll either delete or try to integrate. So once I have a visual that I can bank on, I'm going to start soldering, connecting, routing, all these things, and I'm going to pull that table up to the side of the Beamer. All that's coming out through the firewall and I'm just gonna start wiring it up. And like I said, I'm gonna try to do all the connectors, I'm gonna try to do everything that I can and reloom everything so it looks sexy. Um, and then part three will be the installation and then reviews, which I will do as a sit down, well lit, uh, all of my thoughts sort of going through the process um, so that you, if you're watching this because you have a similar project, can follow along and if I have any suggestions, best practices, uh, difficulty level sort of discussion, as well as showing me putting it all in. Uh, Cause I'm just gonna wire it, get a bunch of different angles. Uh, so part two will literally just be music and uh, work. And then part three will be an explanation of all the things and then putting it in. And then after that, you know, there will be a, there's its own video of tuning and getting that first fire, hopefully. God, I don't know when that's gonna be because I don't really have a lot of time these days, but it's been a hell of a road here. It is now November. This thing died in May, uh, fully died, like was already dead in March, but May is when we blew up the transmission mounts. <laughs> this guy, there's a, there's a sneak peek to updates. This is a transmission mount. Everyone I've spoken to who has a uh, Beamer life has no idea how I did that. They just kerfuffled. Yeah, it's been dead since May. And throughout that whole entire time, it's just been chipping away at this thing. And now we're just just so close, so close. Two different weekends spent with Justin trying to get it fired up. And both times we just ran into a bunch of different roadblocks that slowed us down. Hopefully soon, get it done. That's it, that's it for today. Enough rambling. I'm sure I lost a lot of people along the way. If you got here, let me know in the comments. Tell me, did you make it through the whole video? And I'll know because you're gonna answer this very specific question. Do you like sausages? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. It's been a while since I've recorded myself. <laughs>